Call to order the regular meeting of the Board of Education School District Number 40 at 6 p.m. on Monday, June 26, 2016 at the Coolidge Professional Development Room. Uh, roll call. Audrey Adamson. Here. Jessica Smith. Here. Mona Dixon. Here. Jason Carroll. Here. Lindsay Hines. Here. Andrew Weir. Here. Aaron Walden Smith. Here. All right, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Now, approval of the minutes. The recommended motion is approval of the minutes of the open session of the regular Board of Education meeting of May 22nd, 2023. I have a motion. I'll move second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Recommended motion is uh, approve the minutes of the closed session of the regular board meeting of May 22nd, 2023. Did I say that right? I said that right. Yeah. All right. All right. There we go. Second. Discussion? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Uh, let's go to communications, public comment, and participation. Do we have any? We do not. All right. Let's move right along. All right. Single bid opening. Uh, Wilson Stage and Lighting Ring. Mr. McDermott. It is just an RPFNL for the Wilson, it should really say Wilson, Wilson Lighting and Rigging and Deer Rigging. Because we had to go to an RP route for that as well. So we only got one extra, uh, one bid. So I'll open it and we might come back to you later in the evening. All right. We'll, we'll come back. All right. Uh, we will now begin the hearing of the proposed 2023-2024 school district budget. Is there anyone who wishes to speak in favor of the proposed 2023-2024 school district budget? Is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition to the proposed 2023-2024 school district budget? All right. Is there anyone who wishes to speak neither for nor against the proposed 2023-2024 school district budget, but wishes to offer additional information? All right. Uh, the hearing no public comment, we will now close the hearing of the proposed 2023-2024 school district budget hearing. All right, closed hearing. Yep. hearing closed, done. All right, now we'll move on to the consent agenda. Uh, the recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the actions contained in consent agenda items A, B2 through H, and K through UU as presented. Can I have a motion? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Oh. Oh, well, yeah, we need to do a roll call. Roll call. roll call. Just joking. Roll call. Ramona Dixon. Um, I have a question before I approve. Okay. What, what's the procedure? How do we operate as a board when we have questions about consent agenda items? We can bring it up during the discussion. Um, if... You, or you can always ask questions ahead of time, or you can bring it up in, in the discussion. Um, if you need to abstain from something, um, you can let me know ahead of time. And then we pull that item separately, like we pull three things separately and vote on those separately. So um, it's totally up to you. Okay. Um, but you can always ask questions um, after we have first, second discussion. So now would be the time for you to ask a question before we do the roll call. And do, uh, just for my own future reference, uh, can we send those once we get the agenda and review it? Because yes, we could send those ahead of time, and then you guys would just update the agenda, and then we would have those. Yeah. So, like um, this time, 
uh, Andy indicated, he saw some names on there um, that he had a conflict of interest. He wanted those pulled. Um, Chet did the same thing. That's fairly standard operating procedure. So if you feel like you want specific things um, uh, to abstain from them, we can pull those separately from the consent. So it's so that it has its own separate vote that you can abstain. Yeah, I try to have those done by like Friday before noonish, so I have but time. We can to... still do it as late as you know Monday, okay. if, if oh. need be. All right. So. Um, can you ask the question again? <laughs> you were going to go capless vote. So. Okay. So we had a recommended motion to um, to uh, approve consent agenda items A, B two through H, and K through U U. Aaron uh, had motion and shut. I think seconded. Um, or was it Chef? Would it be K through II and then KK through UU? We're going to do the other and J regular item K. But it needs J -J. Yeah, I need JJ gone though. I thought you needed J gone. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh boy, here we go. Okay, sorry. Sorry, this is a complicated agenda without Stephanie. I thought it was J, sorry. J, J. Okay. H. So. H through. Can we just add, can we just. Oh, no. I'll get it. So, we pulled B1, we pulled I, and then J through I, I. J, H, J through I, I, and then L, L through U, U. K, K. I thought you needed J, J. I do. And then we've got K, K after H. H, I, K, K through U, U. A. Right. B two through B two through H, J through I I, and K K through U U. <laughs> so let's do this again. So I think deserve we have to. Well, the no one voted, so that motion dies. Okay, dies. Okay, new motion is A B two through H. J through I, I, K through, and K, K through U, U. So moved. Second. Seconded. Okay. Discussion. Everybody got that? Do you need a minute to look through your <laughs> consent agenda? All right, here we go. Roll call. Ramona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Chet Smith. Aye. Andrew Weyer. Aye. All right. The recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the actions contained in consent agenda item B as presented. B1. B1 as presented. <laughs> so moved. Second. Discussion. All right, roll call. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsey Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Chet Smith. Aye. Mona Dixon. <clears throat> Aye. Andrew Ware. Abstain. All right. The recommendation is that the Board of Education approve the actions contained in consent agenda item I as presented. I have a motion. So moved. Discussion? Roll call. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Walden Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Chet Smith. Aye. Ramona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Andrew Ware. Aye. All right. Recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the actions contained in content agenda item JJ as presented. That motion. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Chet Smith. Abstain. 
Ramona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Andrew Ware. Aye. All right. Now back to item number eight. Recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the 24, 2024, 2025, and 2025, 2026 school year calendars as listed in attachment 34. I have a motion. Second. Discussion? Me. Thank you. I raised Moving my hand on. and everything. No, yes. Yes. Um, I was wondering if Matt could just go over real quick how this whole thing came about. Like what changes were made or who who was on the committee or things that were talked about. Just kind of a yeah. Do you um, mind? Yeah, no, no. We ended up we had chat with us for the committee for the calendar. Um, we ended up bringing everything out and ended up giving some parameters for it. And um, <clears throat> the parameters really come to two years so that we can end up getting past some, some uh, construction pieces. And then we have a committee that has teachers, support staff, uh, a board member on it, and really uh, their workhorses. <laughs> <laughs> so they ended up going like, well, the way we talked about it, and based on the parameters of like, here's as early as we could start, and then what were the options we'd like to look at, <clears throat> they basically said, you know, if you have a pointed start date, it, it kind of dictates everything else. Now you're talking about taking all the other days, and where do you put them that would be the most ideal? So really, it came to how we can end up balancing this. And so after we came down with two options, the room split this half did them, this half did them, took it back to cabinet to make everything, make sure everything was copacetic. Um, there was one very minor tweak with it, brought it back to the team, pushed it out um, for survey. And uh, I believe in the memo, the survey um, states it was overwhelming um, that we're, we're shifting back to something like that. So the, it's a, we decided on a two year calendar because that will end up getting us past some of the construction pieces and then we'll come back and we'll be able to end up looking and say, okay, so now what? What construction things are on the horizon? I mean, there's all these different mitigating factors that you have. But, you know, I, and, and um, Chet may be able to speak to this too. When I say they're a group that's workhorses, I hope everyone at some point in their lives gets to be part of meetings and committees who they come in, they're like, okay, let's get to work. And it's like, it's action. So I, I want to give a big shout out to yeah, it was pretty impressive um, from the staff that we had there that, you know, I'm, I kind of defer to them and say, hey, when we're looking at, you know, do we start on having this two date on Thursday and start school on a Friday, or do we think it's better to start school on Monday? They said, well, actually, we prefer it this way. And that was one of the tweaks that got made, but they came in prepared. You know, I'm walking in going, hey, it's, I'm here to help do whatever, but they already know what they want. You know, you've got certain people on that committee that already have thing pretty well drawn out as far as how they want us, how they think it should be done. And then you just make tweaks off there. So it's not filling a whole calendar day by day. So yeah, it's, they make it pretty easy. You know, I think we were in there for hour, hour and a half. Maybe I, I create, I create templates of worksheets that they can basically use. But like Chet said, some members, they come with, I look at a calendar like this, so they already create like a different path to do it. And then um, they submit their idea, scratch it out, and I meld it together, get it out. Here we are. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Uh, roll call. Aaron Walden Smith. Yes. Audrey Adamson. Hi. Chuck Smith. Hi. Mona Dixon. Hi. Jason Farrell. Hi. Lindsay Hines. Hi. Andrew Ware. Hi. All right, the next item, item 10, is uh, the recommended motion that the Board of Education approve the new five-year lease agreement with Camelot Therapeutic School LLC at $380,000 for the 2023-2024 school year, uh, $400,000 for 2024 to 2025, $420,000 for the 2025-2026, 
440,000 for the 2026, 2027, 460,000 for the 27, 2027, 2028 school years as presented. Can I have a motion? Can we move the school budget one? I sure did mark that off right before. We'll get back to that. Okay. We'll go back to that one. So now we're at the slide. Motion for Pamela. I, so second. Sorry. Discussion. Yes, I just want to know the history of like the Camelot building and why we might be paying that much that far ahead of time. No, they're paying us. Yeah, we're being paid. We're leasing. They're leasing it from us. You want me to do some background? Yes. We tried to sell this building after a kid vacated it twice. And we had a minimum bid set, I think it extremely reasonable. It might have been fifty thousand, no call me a liar, it might have been twenty-five thousand, and we had no luck in selling it either time. And then I was contacted by Camelot, they might want to rent it. So we got no rental agreement that was extremely favorable to the district where they were responsible for all the items within the building framework. We had the roof, the windows, and basically the parking lot, and that was it. So they, we gave a, a favorable lease in the beginning that started out at $75,000. And when their enrollment increased to 75 kids or more, we gradually got to $300,000. The last lease, they were very concerned about the age of the boiler and we negotiated maybe two and a half years to get to this point about a favorable lease for this community and the school district. And this is what we came up with and we have taken the ownership of the boiler on as a district. Now you might say, why is that a big deal? The big deal is we are having full capacity for the last three years to try to air condition our building that serves 100% of our kids. And if we did that, we would take facilities expertise and have to take away from the air condition of the facilities to do the boiler work and everything. So we said we were not interested, not interested, not interested. And it became a, a real sticking point. So we put a very you know hefty increase on the lease to take that ownership over. So you have a $2.1 million lease for a building that should be very favorable to the district in the next five years. So this is the same one that we discussed in our yes. in the budget meeting, right. but okay, gotcha. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McDermott. All right, can I have any other discussion questions? All right, roll call. Chet Smith. Aye. Ramona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Andrew Ware. Aye. All right. We're going to hop back in time a little bit and go to number nine. Uh, the recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the resolution to adopt the annual budget for the 2023 2024 school year. Second. Uh, discussion. Mr. McDermott, anything? Looks good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, roll call. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Chet Smith. Aye. Ramona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Morgan Smith. Aye. All right. We're going to jump back into the present, back to the future here. All right. Number 11. A recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the new five year lease agreement with the Regional Office of Education at 26,300, 27,600, 29,500, 31,500, and 33,800, respectively, as presented. So moved. Second. Uh, discussion? Roll call. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Chet Smith. Aye. Mona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Andrew Ware. Aye. Aye. 12. The recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the district's consolidated district plan for the 2023 2024 school year as required by the Illinois State Board of Education. Do I have a motion? So moved. 
Second. Discussion? Uh, roll call. Karen Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Chet DeSmith. Aye. Norma Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsey Hines. Aye. Andrew Ware. Aye. Yeah, okay. okay. Number 13. Uh, the recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the intergovernmental agreement between the Illinois Department of Health Care and Family Services and the Moline Coal Valley Community Unit School District 40. Uh, can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Jeff Smith. Aye. Mona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. And Andrew Ware. Aye. The recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the memorandum of understanding between the Rock Island County Regional Office of Education number 49 and Moline High School and the Moline High School District number Moline School District number 40 for the Lights On for Learning program. Have a motion? So moved. Second. Uh, discussion. All right. Roll call. Chet DeSmith. Aye. Ramona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsey Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Andrew Ware. Aye. Number 15. The re it is the recommended motion that the Board of Education approve the memorandum of understanding between the Rock Island County Regional Office of Education number 49 and John Deere Middle School and the Moline School District number 40 for Lights On for Learning program. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Chet Smith. Aye. Ramona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Andrew Ware. Aye. All right, number 16. The recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the student clinical teaching agreement between the Moline Coal Valley School District and Augustana College. Motion? So moved. Second. Okay. Discussion? I have a quick question. Um, no, I know. It just went out of my head. <laughs> nope. No, just kidding. Let me know if you think of it. Okay. Must not have been that important. Must not have been important <laughs> at all. Yeah. All right. Uh, roll call. Aaron Walden Smith. Aye. Audrey Adams. Aye. Chuck Smith. Aye. Mona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Andrew Ware. Aye. It is uh, number 17. The recommended motion that the Board of Education approve the Illinois Association of School Boards revised policy manual for the Moline Coal Valley School District number four. So I'll move. Second. Uh, discussion. Roll call. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Chuck Smith. Aye. Ramona Dixon. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsey Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. <clears throat> Aye. All right. Number 18. Recommended motion is that the Board of Education accept for the first stream revised Board of Education policies 4 4 or no, 45 insufficient checks and debt recovery and 4 1 insurance management. I would like to waive the second reading and allow the first reading to stand for both the first and second reading. Second. All right. Uh, discussion. All right. Roll call. Ramona Dixon. Aye. Chuck Smith. Aye. Jason Farrell. Aye. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adams. Aye. Andrew Weir. Aye. All right. Now on to reports, requests, and open discussion. Dr. Savage. All right. Uh, Reed Moline Summer Kickoff. I'd like to extend a big thank you to Dr. Pribble, who is at a conference uh, right now. Teresa Sanders, Leslie Perkins, other district leaders and principals that were involved with making the summer kickoff reading event such a success. It was incredibly well intended. Uh, attended and parents and kids expressed positive feedback regarding the event. We also want to thank the Board of Education for inspiring the team to put this event together as it was derived from the notes taken at the Board of Education 
goal focus area brainstorming session. So thank you so much for helping that uh, come to life. I think it'll be an annual event. Uh, staffing update. Um, the district is in excellent position in terms of filling all of its positions for the upcoming school year. The HR office has done an incredible job processing the new hires. At this time, we have hired approximately 22 new certified staff, including a hard to fill industrial technology uh, position that you approved earlier tonight. All but one of the remaining positions posted um, are in motion for hire and the remaining one we may choose not to fill this year. I'd like to give a shout out to our principals for their work in finding the best candidates for our students, which is overseen by uh, Mr. Dite and HR and his role in rounding out the entire hiring process. We're lucky to be in Moline where we have been seemingly insulated from the national teacher shortage, still realize high longevity uh, in our staff, well over 90% and benefit from strong community and parental support. So thank you. Uh, pace goal development. Our new goals are currently under development. We are almost done with the draft. Um, I anticipate being able to share the draft new goals with board members via email uh, in the next couple of weeks towards the middle of July for feedback. And we will then be able to make any suggested revisions or address any questions prior to the formal presentation of the goals at the July board meeting. Portrait of a graduate. The final visual and associated competencies that came out of the stakeholder work of our spring portrait of a graduate vision setting process is near complete. I intend to present that work to the board at the July meeting along with our projected next steps in year two of this process. This has been incredibly positive and the feedback from parents and other community member stakeholders was excellent. So stay tuned for that. And now for my final item, I would like to ask uh, Mr. McDermott to please come to the podium. We have lots of questions for you. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would also like to ask uh, Mr. Uh, Rayer to please stand and join me. Dave 1.0. <laughs> We can't thank you enough for all that you have done and all that you have given to this organization. Thank you for your loyalty, your commitment, for, all, for always going above and beyond in the way that you support kids, staff, and programs. Thank you for the history and for the traditions and for serving as the consummate steward of the taxpayer's dollars. Lastly, from my experience, most school finance leaders approach their work from the standpoint of, we have this much money to spend. Whereas you have always come from the stance of what do the kids need and we will figure out a way to make it happen. And for that, I think. Yeah, uh, I think I, I speak for all of the support is thank you for everything you've done. And you've always been there to answer our even dumbest questions that I've had. <laughs> and, you know, when we get a, an answer from you, we know for sure it's based in two things. One, with data, you know, the answer always has data with it. And two, that we know that it's going to be within the district's best interest. We know that you have always, that has always been your number one goal is to put this community, the kids in it, uh, for front and center. So thank you for everything you've done. And we're going to be lost at uh, the school board association. Yeah. Maybe able to find the best places to go. all that. So I, I want to thank you on behalf of this board and, and the community for for all you've done for for everybody here and, and the community as a whole. And with that, we have uh, come up with a special award. Award. It is the Board of Education Distinguished Administrator Award. You're the first recipient. Wow. It's the, it's the... That makes you sound bold. <laughs> <laughs> but first and foremost, thank you all. Uh, past boards, 2004, 2005, I think probably hired me. And all the one future boards, including you, as well as Dr. Lee, who gave me the first opportunity to be here through Moyer and Lanty and Dr. Savage. So I appreciate all of it. Thank you very much. All right, does anybody else have anything to add? I do. Yes, Aaron. I just personally wanna say, Dave, thank you for all the guidance. You've all heard me joke before that numbers aren't my thing, but I was never felt like I couldn't come to you and ask and I appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah, and thank you so much for helping us get on board. That was incredibly useful. Well, you and did a nice thing. You approved the budget. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> yeah. Work was accomplished. Exactly. Now moving forward, I don't care what you do. <laughs> and you put together two of the best leases I think anybody has ever yes. seen. Yes. <laughs> the one. Dave's next. Uh, one thing is nice, but air conditioning 17 out of 18 buildings since I've been here was probably a little bit of better goal than the lease, but that helps. Dave, are you going to go into real estate next? No, Rich Basford. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so with that, moving forward, you, are you, I don't want to step on your head. I have a question, sorry. We have no financial report. I have a question. Yes. What uh, position are you considering not filling that you said in your report? Oh, a uh, French-Spanish combo teacher at Moline High School. <laughs> what do you think? Sure. <laughs> I mean, we... Yeah, wait a week. <laughs> you guys can do whatever you want. Yeah, actually, right now, you pass the budget, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> okay, with that, their financials are all good. You, you've heard that, uh, but we just opened the bid, and we're going to only ask for a, four, a partial award on that bid for the rigging associated to the John Deere pro, uh, project that we're getting for lights and stage. The other one's a little over budget. We want to take a look at it. Won't hinder anything because it's probably a next year summer project any which way. Would like to get it done earlier, but we were estimating somewhere in the tune of three hundred thousand, and it's almost double that. So, so, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. But I'm gonna ask you to uh, approve uh, an award for the alternative bid only to John Deere rigging upgrades to the lowest qualified bidder, Rock River Electric Inc. Cologne, Illinois for 64,975, if you would please. And here's your official motion. If you okay. pass that, that will help us complete the this job here. Day, project. He already had it ready to go. <laughs> All right. The recommended motion is that the Board of Education award the alternate bid for only the John Deere rigging upgrade to the lowest qualified bidder, Rock River Electric Inc. of Kelowna, Illinois. For sixty-four thousand nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Lindsay Hines. Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith. Aye. Audrey Adamson. Aye. Chet Smith. Aye. Ramona Dixon. And Jason Farrell. Aye. Andrew Weyer. Aye. All right. Uh, for the next, uh, we are going to go into closed session. Do uh, recommended motions that we go into closed session. Can I have a. You need to say why we're going to. Say oh, that. yes, I do. We're going to, to consider the appointment, employment, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific employees of the district and to consider the possible sale of property by a public body. Now I'll take a motion. So, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We will go in to open session. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Training setting 13. Who was first and who was second? Dave first. Jason. All right. Uh, I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? All right. Any opposed? I'd like to stay here for three minutes.